All right, everyone, welcome to The Rundown. It is Thursday, May 16th. We got some drama here in the Barstool office. Uncle D was back. Major blow up with Rico Bosco and Jeff Nadu, who will be joining the show a little bit later today. We got him on a Zoom link in the back waiting to, uh, to spill the tea about what he's going to do. We've got some topics to get to first, but before we get to all that, I gotta talk to you guys about Barstool Golf Time. The Barstool Golf Time app makes it easy for golfers to find the best tee time at the best prices. Stop searching all over Google for your next tee time. Search multiple courses in your area from one app. It's annoying to have to create multiple accounts for each individual course to book online. That's where golf, uh, Barstool Golf Time comes in. All you do is make one account with us and you can book all your tee times. We're gonna give you guys rewards. You can earn golf time rewards every time you book, leave course reviews, and you can redeem those rewards for free Barstool Golf March, uh, merch in the Barstool store. Throughout May, the more times you book, the more entries you get for a chance to win a brand new skills and Barstool Golf training aids. See the app for details. Download the Barstool Game Time, Barstool Golf Time app now. Barstool Golf Time. Um, NBA playoffs. Celtics advancing to play either the Knicks or the Pacers. Uh, the Pacers. I'm hoping it's the Knicks for obvious reasons. I think, I mean, you got to figure it will be, right? The Knicks are up 3 2. They still have, you know, they're playing the next game in Indian, Indianapolis on Friday, and then Sunday is in New York. So I got to think they're going to win one of those two. Yeah, I don't know. But the, clever, but the clever guarantee on the big. Nope. Is that a clever no. guarantee? On the New York Knicks? Nope. They're not a good, not they're a not a historically great franchise. They are they're not. Oh, well, I know. Here, I will guarantee you one thing. I mean, weren't they all hurt last game and now they're fine? Brun or Brunson, Brunson just put the team on his back? Brunson. And Anobi's not playing yet. And Anobi is. is Oh, he's Almost as key as Brunson. They actually, I actually read today he might be back after Game Six. If there's really first game six. that would surprise me. The um, Knicks need out of Nobi to even have a shot if they play the Celtics. He's beast. Oh, yeah, of course. Hey, uh, we're gonna we are the Celtics are going to dog walk. I the next that's my zoom in on that little name. The Celtics are going to dog walk. I don't. I just wanted to go to like. Five. No, I honestly I wanted to go to six. I, I don't even want to sweep. The I don't Knicks. watch much basketball. I haven't watched the Celtics all year. I've been watching the Knicks in the playoffs just because my friends love it and whatnot. Here we go. The Knicks are absolute dogs. <laughs> they're in absolute sense. Dogs. I think the Knicks have grit. The they're Knicks, absolute they're dogs. I don't know. The Knicks. Josh Hart will out rebound the fuck out of Chris Tops Porzingis. Well, Porzingis, has Porzingis isn't even. I don't think he's gonna play. Us. Is Porzingis coming back? I, I no? think. I, I know he got hurt. I thought he was. Yeah, he's like on the fence. I think you might see him. Hopefully, NBA Finals. I don't. I don't think you'll see. Scared him. of Josh Hart. I, I don't think you'll see him in, in the East Conference Finals. Scared of Hardenstein. Don't think we'll need him in the NBA. The Celtics are going to destroy the Knicks. They're going to rip off their arms, rip off their legs, like a, like an eight-year-old playing with the over the Nova three, over the Nova three. Yes. I just want to shut up, Di Vincenzo, or whatever that little guinea's name is. Oh. I can't fucking stand him. No offense to the Italians. I cannot stand big ragu. him. Ever since that flop. Oh my God. Enough. You're not Jason Williams. Um, Al Horford. Well, he's the, he's 37 years old, oldest player left in the playoffs, first player in NBA history. I couldn't believe this. 20 points, 15 rebounds, five plus three pointers, three blocks. That's crazy. The first 37 years old, first player ever to. I'm guessing in a playoff game. That's still yeah. wild. I mean, how many how many guys are getting 15 re rebounds and five threes? That's no, five right. Three is but it's crazy. It just never happened. It's an incredible game for Horford, but that's crazy. It just never happened. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I also couldn't believe that Tristan Thompson is still playing. Still going. That's like shocking. That almost has like Udonis Haslam vibes to it. I was showing oh, up. I was like, "What the fuck?" Hangs around forever. And not to make this about the Kardashians, but Chloe did bring the kids to see uh, Tristan. It's a very big deal. First time ever wow. seeing him play. Um, so that'll be good. Mavericks lost to the Thunder. You guys talked about the guy who cashed out his bet yesterday, Beat right? Thunder. Beat the Thunder. They beat the Thunder. Excuse me. You guys talked about the guy who cashed out his bet, right? Yes. Yesterday. Um, I've said this, I tweeted this out. Kyrie Irving, if he gives a tenth of a fuck more than he does, he's the best player in the NBA. Like, if he puts forth the effort and he's in a good place mentally, there's no beating Kyrie Irving. So, that's what I have on that. Luca, um, he led them with, uh, how many triple doubles did he have? He had 31, 11, and 11 last night. So, I don't know. I mean, who do you think is going to come out of the West? Out of the West, I mean, you got to think it's Nuggets. I mean, the Nuggets yeah. play tonight. Uh, they're three two. They've won the last three games. Um, I mean, they won the title last year. And until I see someone knock off the Nuggets, I'm, that's the only. So the Celtics. The only. I'm not scared if anyone left in the East. The only team I'm worried about right. is the Nuggets. The West is going to win. It's like I don't, I don't think, think the think Celtics so. are. Oh, gonna, the Celtics oh, are. We need Porzingis back. The Celtics are down. Whoever they're playing in the West, they're out. Uh, I think it's going. I think it's going to be 
when the Celtics get to the finals, yes. it's going to be very difficult. Mavs for Celtics, Kyrie versus Dave would be, would be wild. Just amazing. I mean, it's very possible. You know, Mavs, if the Mavs can somehow get past the Nuggets, I'm guessing the Nuggets will take care of business tonight, although it is in Minnesota. Um, it's not out of the realm of possibility with how well the Mavs are playing. Very possible. Yeah. And then, you know, Luka's, you know, rolling right now. So, yeah, that, that Mavericks team is pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, tonight, Rangers at Hurricanes, Mr. Balls. Yeah. Give me, give me. That was a nervous, give yeah. A, give me, you talked a little bit before we came on here about there's a lot of things, a lot of reasons why you want the Rangers to win tonight. Walk, yeah. a, walk us through the thought process. Well, I don't, I, mean, I don't want to do a game seven. Okay. A game seven would be terrifyingly brutal. I mean, I just want them to win tonight. It would be great if they won tonight. Ended tonight. They could have ended it last Saturday. Lost. <coughs> could have ended it Monday. Lost. It's a concert I want to go to Saturday night. Wallens oh, at MetLife Stadium. I really who's, want to go to that. There? Morgan Wallens okay. at MetLife Stadium okay. Saturday. I really want to go to that. So I'm really hoping the, the New York Rangers win. Let's say the Rangers tonight. lose. What do you do on Saturday? I'm watching the Rangers. So Morgan Wallens, see ya. Uh, yeah, I mean, he would be yeah. out, but I mean, okay. I, I would like to, best of both worlds, we win game six tonight, concert Saturday. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. I do, I'm like what Jonathan Quick said today. Everyone's freaking out about momentum. Momentum's not a thing in hockey. That's, it's not a thing. Momentum is not a thing in hockey. No, every hockey game is very different. I mean, think about, okay, game four, the Rangers beat, the Rangers come back, tie the game. Beat the Hurricanes in overtime. You think the Hurricanes are dead game four. They came out and played better. Like, the, the hot momentum is not a thing. I mean, perfect example, Bruins, Bruins, Bruins yeah, Panthers yeah. the other day. Everybody and their mother would have said, Panthers are going to come out and kick their ass game six. I mean, game five. In, in Florida, after the way the Bruins lost game four, the Bruins came out I just out think it's so rare for it's any. It's so hard. It, the, there's, mo, hockey is such a different type of game where there's just no momentum game to game. Every game is different. I think in-game momentum is huge. Oh, yeah. Hockey, I'm, saying, like, I'm saying game, game to, to game. game. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Morgan Wallen's the guy who threw the chair off the building. Allegedly. Does that affect, does that make you want to go to the concert more or less? Uh, I think you guys have great music. Okay. It's all about, we're fans of the music here. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. So we're all about. Um, NFL schedule release, they released regular season schedule for 2024. Uh, Patriots are upset about uh, people are upset. of war. People are upset about the number of 1 p.m. Dude, you gotta zoom this in. Nate has the thing so, it's like, a point four font. The font the is ginormous. Make it a little bigger. It ginormous. Make it bigger. I, I don't know if it will. Yeah, I, I just can, try. If I didn't have my glasses on, I would be. I, I can't see any of my glasses. Dude, this is why you have to see this. That's a little bit. That's, that's better. better. Okay. That's see, better. this is what we that's need. Better. All right. People are very upset about the number one p.m. versus four p.m. games on certain weeks. I don't like a one p.m. game. Well, football. As a fan, it's too early. It'd so be like a 4 p.m. over anything. I agree to some extent, but the issue is you'll have this every week. There'll be like 10 games at 1 p.m. And then three games at four. I feel like NFL does. I don't know why. Why not have like seven and whatever six? Why does it need to be so? I mean, I understand why. It's all for TV ratings. They want to have like a game of the week. I get all that stuff. But it's just frustrating as a fan. And I'm kind of used to this though. I don't mind it. I like it like this. I'm you like I'm early. Real. I like early to be my fuck. That's when everything's happening. Ten games. Boom, 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 boom. And then four o'clock is your wind down area. There's three games on. I'm shocked this is even this is even like a newsworthy thing. But sometimes the three games stink. PM. Like all, and then, all well, then those are going to stink for two out but of the seventeen sucks. weeks. But that like, but why not just have it be more even so then you're not, you're not stuck with three shitty games? Because I I like to blow my load early and then relax. Oh my god! Oh my god! At the four, right, wow. at the four p.m. games, yeah. relax time. But then you get drunk too early. Is there such a thing in Paul's world? <laughs> well, getting drunk never too early. early. It's never too Especially on a Sunday when you're having a couple beverages, don't you want the, the big ones? Then your peak drunk's going to be at yeah, 4. That, that yeah. and, then, and then you lower it down a little right. bit after at the 4 o'clock. Then 8 o'clock, you you're, still, you're still going. Then you yeah. got the one game at 8. That's fair. I don't mind this. As long as it's not like two games. Dude, I don't even four like... Four. I've cared... So this maybe might make me a bad fan. I've cared so much less since the Patriots have started to suck. About yeah, like, makes you a bad yeah. fan. It was always just, okay, wait until the AFC Championship, and now it's we're just not going to be that great. So I don't no, really no, no, you're not going to be... You're going to be horrible. Yeah. A horrible, horrible team. It's very annoying. Yeah. Shout out to the New York Jets. Though. Yes. Six primetime games. Let's That's go. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. The Jets are going to be so awesome this year. That schedule is stacked. we got a week 12 bye. I'm super excited by the Jets schedule. Uh, I'm super excited by the Jets. They're going to be really good this year. I'm Why do you, do you like the Jets? I am. You're a Jets fan. Jets, Mets, Celtics. So I was living in New York till I was nine, and then I moved to New Hampshire. God damn. So I'm this weird mix. It's, it's, not, it's not ideal. What, what, year, what year were you born again? 79. 
I oh, was so in 89. You, so you missed the Knicks championships. <laughs> How old do you think I was? <laughs> I don't know. You think I'm like 55? Uh, he was a, You're the same uh, age as Kamasta. Of math. You and Kama- you, Kamasta, and, and Dave Brandon and, and Brandon Walker no, are all the exact same age. No, the th- yes. Joey. Look at like three, four different trajectories, more right? Iconic, <laughs> Dave, Good Lord. Dave, Kamasta, Clemmer, and Brandon Dave's Walker. Dave's a little older. Brandon, Joey, and I are born the same year. Like the exact same year. And here you are, the three best friends. Wait, all we do is hang out and talk. Actually, I, I, I love Joey and Brandon. Like, they're both, I enjoy. No, well, Dave's not, not Dave. the same age. Dave's not in that same group. The I would three say of us are born the same year. Dave's two years older. You're Gen X, though. You're all Gen X. We're all Gen X. You guys see the uh, Giants slo- the Giants jerseys today? I, I, no. They're, they're very, Thoughts? They, I think they're super ugly, but they're super funny. Like, I think it's cool that they have a throwback like I that. agree. They look like Montreal Canadiens. I, the same, I said the same yep. thing to Vibs. I don't think we look that bad. The one, the first render that came out, like, the picture like wasn't HD and it looked gross. Yeah. Once I saw the HD photos, not that not bad. Not bad, right? Just for one. Not that. I guess games. they might do it for two games. two games. How do you feel about that? I think maybe one is. Why not? I don't mind two right. games. What's the difference? I, I don't think that bad. I've What's seen I've seen worse old school throwbacks. Uh, Amazon is making a true crime documentary on the story of the Chiefs aholic. They approved making this documentary. Um, it's about the Chiefs fan who would rob banks to help fund tickets. Uh, on the way to the Chiefs away games. He robbed at least 11 banks at one point. He was originally caught and then placed on house arrest, cut off his ankle monitor, went on the run. He was eventually caught again. Uh, and now he's being held without bail, facing 50 years in prison. I think this is going to be a A plus. Oh, I will watch. I am fascinated with, with this. So they say if you rob one bank, there's a chance you could, like a pretty decent chance you get away. What happens is you get addicted to it and you right. keep robbing. Because when you rob bank, you don't make as much as, you don't make millions of dollars. You make, I guess, like a few grand. Dude, a few, that's so crazy to me. A few thousand dollars to, and versus, you're risking a few thousand dollars for 25 years. Is it that easy to rob a bank? I guess yes. they say you're, you're like the first, like if you can just do it once, you're likely well, to get caught. I'd great? also assume most bank robberies, you're not getting into the vault. That's the thing. It's you whatever have to be, they have right, out. So you would, it's whatever you have out. So it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's not like Chiefs of Hall is doing 11 vaults. No. <laughs> He's getting what's, whatever's in the drawer, which I think is a limited amount of money. Yes. You might as well just rob a fucking gas station. And I think there's less, like, penalty. For, like, robbing a bank is extra, all sorts of extra. I think the penalty for robbing banks is too high. Yeah. The money's but, insured, and you're going to get, it's 50 years for robbing a bank. If you didn't shoot anyone. Do people but rob they, banks they, anymore? This guy I'm robbed 11 of them, though. What was the last time we had a bank robbery in New York City? A good old-fashioned bank robbery? Like, town level. I, I feel Dude, like they happen in smaller towns more, right? Yeah, I feel like it happens in like Nebraska, middle of nowhere. Like in New Hampshire, you'd hear about like when I lived there, you'd hear about bank robberies. Yeah. Like, I wonder, real, you think, I would like, that's an interesting thing. I'd like to know how many banks get robbed a day in Manhattan. Not a day, I think maybe it, it once seems every like... few weeks and we don't hear about it. Did you hear about the place in California, the money holding facility that was robbed? They stole like, you heard about that? Yeah, it's awesome. There's money holding facilities all over the country and they just hold cash. And this got robbed out of the blue. They have no idea who this person is. It was like the biggest cash heist like ever. It just seems like bank technology hasn't improved in a hundred years. If we're still that, if Chiefsaholic can rob 11 Let banks. <laughs> They, I guess armored cars have way more money, but they're so heavily protected. It's like yeah, it's, the guys all have guns and yeah, shit you like that. Shoot so, the guy. Yeah. According to the FBI, they were bank robbery. Yeah, obviously there were bank robberies, you idiots. It's good to know that when we're all fired, we can just go rob a bank. Why are we going to get fired? Oh, you know, just when it happens. You're always, you always think like that. Why? Yeah. There's like, there's like 110. Hey, you've been here forever. You're not getting fired. There's like 110 bank robberies a year in New York City. In New York City? 110? Around there. So one every three days. Either, either 91 or 130, depending on right, the so year. So one every three, one every three days. Yeah. That seems off. like a lot. So it seems like a lot. Um, Jeffrey Epstein's Little Black Book is being auctioned off in a, quote, secret option. Dante the Don is obviously all over this. Um, was trying to get Dave to buy it on Twitter. Said Dave was in the Illuminati craziness. Uh, there are supposed to be names like RFK Jr., Alan Dershowitz. Uh, co-owner of the Jets in there. So I have, so my issue is just because you're in the book doesn't mean you're raping kids on the island. Like, that's a, that's a, yeah, well, unfortunately, I think you can get caught. Like, if you're just in this guy's book, doesn't necessarily mean you're a criminal. Right. So like, that's kind of that's kind of tough. Dude, I'm over like I'm over the whole Epstein. Like, nothing is coming of it. Well, Stephen nothing Hawking, is ever going to come. Hawking's of it. a creep. Yeah. yeah, Stephen Hawking. And also, a creep. horrible job of this auction being kept secret. Yeah, it's, it's the top of the rundown that's right true. now. That's facts. Really shitty secret auction. I'm just over it. No one's going to get caught. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah, it's when not. the names didn't come out after that whole week of the names are dropping, the names are yeah. dropping, it's clearly something's being protected. Like, right. it, that's when Dante's right. Like, there's a lot well, of high The Don is always stuff. right. The Don's never been Maybe right. you'll hear this on Audio Crack with Billy and Don. Um, 
five billion dollar lottery winner is being sued by his family for not sharing his jackpot. This is in Maine. Um, he allegedly promised his family a cut of the winnings, and he said he was going to buy a garage for his dad to fix up old cars. This is the part that's interesting. Set up a million dollar trust. Incredibly low number after winning 1.35 billion. Billion, yeah. None of that has happened. They are now suing him. I just want to see who this guy is. I well, think anonymity is bullshit in the lottery. I want to know who this. I person agree because it's it's, uh, it's tax money. Like it sh you should be right. have to be public. Whoever this man is should be dragged through the town. <laughs> Why? I hate this man. Why? Why? This guy. This guy's a fucking scum. Fuck. Look at him. Yeah. He just won 1.3 billion dollars. Okay. And he can't fucking pay for his dad's future he, what if medical, his fan, what if his, medical funds. What if he can't buy his dad a fucking garage. What if his dad sucks? It's a garage. It doesn't matter. Birth to was your dad. Dude, if my mother won no, 1. 1.35 billion dollars is well okay so you I'm gonna defend the guy I guess for a second it's not really you know you only get like half that right so it's still 600 and 650. 650 right 650 million dollars that's that I is would, so I would think much. it would be worth it would be worth it just to give them this shit so they go away so I don't really understand. so there must be something else going on is my point Dude, if it's like five million dollars to make these people go away you must really hate them I hate this guy I, I think this guy's a any, piece of shit. I think this guy's family might If be. my mother won $1.35 billion and said, I'm only going to give you a million dollars, I would slap her in the face. That is insane. It's crazy. I'm sure nothing this guy just wants a garage. Like, that seems like a pretty... They, well, they're Maine. And they're, so they're the mother folk. of his daughter well, let me is, is suing fucking, him for uh, her piece. It sounds like he's divorced from the mother of his daughter. Yes. And she is suing him for a piece of it, which obviously is bullshit. And he's suing her for breaking the NDA. I guess she's the one that told his family that he won, and he's pissed off about that. I, I, I think what it is, it's like if you just give him a big enough headache, he writes you a check to leave you alone. I think, and but if you have all that fuck you money, you'd be like, I'll, I will rather lose all this money than give you a dime. That's hatred. That's like a deep hatred. Um, is Rico back? All right, here. Hold on, hold on one second. All right, so that was. Is Rico here? Yeah, give, give it a second. We'll call Who him. is that? Hold on, Jeff. Not here. Not okay. here. All right. Uh, there he is. After show, this is the biggest story going on right now. Um, at Barstool, Mr. Jeff Nadu tweeted Dave the other day, said, I miss Barstool. He's here. He's on Zoom. Him and Rico Bosco had a blow up today. Jeff, let's start with why do you want to come back to Barstool and then we'll get in with the Rico stuff. I definitely had a lot of thoughts the last week or so. You know, I've, I've obviously been thinking, you know, as you get older, Pat, you guys know about that. I was thinking, I looked over the last year. It's been almost a year since I left and you know, I just had those thoughts. There are times where I miss the company. I miss the camaraderie. I miss some days like today. And as I get older, you make, you know, mistakes. And you think back on those. I have a lot of regrets. I've done a lot of stupid things in my life and in my career. Ones I'm not proud of. And look, I had a rough year. And I was just rethinking about all of it. And, you know. What happened? Why was it Why was it rough? Rough Rough financially? Rough, uh, rough. Now, are, we, are you just coming back here to get the bag? Is that what you're trying to do? Or you really want to be here for real this time? It's nothing about money. The problem is I've made all the decisions in my life because of money. Sometimes I make it strictly because of money, and that's not always the right way to look at it and the right way to do it. And as I get older, I kind of think about what could have been if I'd have just taken a, a walk on the wild side and taken a risk. Someone like Clemmer, you know, look at what he did. Moved to New York, started something, took a shot and ran with it. You know, I haven't always done that, and I've made mistakes. So what what happened with you and Bosco today? What was the blow up? Where do you and oh, where do you and Rico I, I, stand? <laughs> don't stand anywhere. He's a fucking low life motherfucker, and he always will be. That's the truth. And all this fake shit about he's changing. He hasn't changed shit. The truth is, he's threatened by me. There is no beef. I've never done nothing to the kid in my life. And I'm going to tell you something, man. This guy continues to get down and dirty. Mentioning my family, going real low. He hasn't changed a bit. So Stop Jeff, this. I'll, I've changed shit. I'll defend Rico for a second. So I, I, I do picks under Rico every day. I do think he has made an effort to change. Now, maybe not in regards to you, but around the office, he is he is honestly trying to do better. He he hasn't he hasn't gotten down and dirty too much. Today was a little different. He obviously, had to blow up with you. What if you weren't back in Barstool? How would you and Rico coexist? What would you do on your side to make that work or not? Or what would you what would you try to do with Rico? We wouldn't coexist. But the truth is, I've tried. I've tried coexisting. I had a, we had a peace offering for, which lasted a few weeks. I invited him on a show I did. We did good numbers. 
And then it was back to the same shit two or three weeks later, you know, calling me, a, 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 you know, different words that I can't say on here. Um, you know, again, mentioning my family, having people, you know, bothering me with fucking burner. What do you say about your family? I don't know. What do you say about your family? He just said something about my, he talked about my dead father this morning. Okay. Talking about, oh, I'm only, okay. I'm only uh, surviving because of him. He talks about my sister. He talks about everything. He's a scumbag. So is there any, is there any world where you and Rico can make up and move on? Listen, we've, I offered many times, men of honor. It was an idea we've had for years. It would work. He keeps fucking declining, but then he's changed. He's a different man. Jeff, you, you mentioned earlier about regrets. Could you be maybe specific about what you meant regrets at bars do? Like, what, what, what do you mean exactly? Like, well, like for instance, moving, you know, like I, I think looking back, like I, I think I've never was able to kind of work totally just cause I wasn't there. You know, I wasn't yeah. there as much. I wasn't there on the regular, you know, being in the mix. And I think being in the mix is obviously important. And I wish I had did it different sometime. So you will be willing to come in every day if you were to get rehired? And move. If we can make it happen, I'm willing to change my life for sure. What would you say to uh, if Dave was sitting here right now and you want to give a pitch to get rehired? What would your pitch be? Well, I'm going to keep my. Pro I have some propositions that I'm pushing out there. Um, I think we start slow. I have some ideas about some things in Chicago that I that I think would be interesting. Um, you know, look, I'm not that far from New York. Look again. I have real life things though. I have a house. I have things that I've done. So I have to, I have to think about that. I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. But again, um, I don't want to look back in five or 10 years and say, damn, I wish I would have did that. I've made mistakes. I'm admitting it. Wait, so what you didn't, you didn't even answer the question. So what is your pitch to Dave to come back? You can't just say, I have an idea. Like, what is the idea? That's what we're asking. Well, just basics. Basics. Yeah, I was going to pitch Men of Honor, to be honest. Okay. But, uh, oh, so there is, so there is room. Oh, there we go. So, so right. there is room. I like that. But but again, I, I you know, I've taken over the mafia genre space. I mean, that, that can't be ignored. I'm, I have a new audience that I can bring that it is cultivating, and I have a lot of other things. All right. Uh, so you mentioned Chicago. Let's say it was, all right, Jeff, we'll bring you back, but it has to be in New York. Would you come into the office in New York every day? Or are you looking at is it Chicago or bust? You have a preference? Yeah, Chicago, for sure. Why? I just liked it when I went there. I went there for a few days last year. I hung with those guys. Okay. I liked it. I, I, I just thought City was cool. It's a mafia I mean, I hub. I against New York. I just think Chicago's better. So if Dave said, you can come back, but it has to be New York, you would say... Well, I would have to... It wouldn't be my preference, let's just say that. But I, I'll, I'll do anything, I guess, if I have to. There we go. That's the right answer. You'll You're do just, anything. The answer is yes, Jeff. I'm trying to help you here. Try to lead, lead the horse to water here. So, yes. I guess I'm just confused, Jeff. Is this, you said you had a tough year. Is this just the Jeff Nadu money grab? I got to do this for a year and then I'm out again? Or are you in this? Because this, this, they say third time's the charm. Is this the third time? Is this the charm? Let clear. This is not about money. I make money. I have this is this is about me always making decisions because of money and not for sometimes what I really want. Okay, that's that's the truth. Me coming back there, I'd probably not make as much money as I make now. I need to start doing things though for what I want and for enjoyment as opposed to just because of the money. All right. I will say uh, uh, to Jeff's point, uh, when we did Barstool Idol, Jeff told me like how much he loves Barstool and wants to be back. So like I know, and it, that's why I was so shocked, honestly, when you left last year, because I know how much you do care about Barstool and the company. I I do I do wish you would give. I know it's tough, because, but I will say Rico has made a real effort to change. I'm going to defend him there. He has with oh, me because yeah. Rico was awful to me when I got hired, and now we're friends. Like Rico has made an effort. Obviously, today was maybe a step back, but I, I will defend Rico on that, Jeff. Let, let's say, Glennie, what do you think about Rico? Has he changed? <laughs> I, <don't think laughs> I mean, I don't mind Rico. I like Rico. We did a nice food video together last week. I mean, I don't, I don't really have an opinion. I like Rico. I'm pro Rico. I definitely think he's changed. He used, he used oh, to. Totally, he's totally I used changed. To be, he really has. I used to be on the Rico hate list. I was on the Rico me hate too. list. Me too. I was on the Rico hate list when I first got hired, when I was a tyke. But um, no, me and Rico are friends now. I love Rico. Nadu, you... So the reason you left the first time or the second time 
the first time was there was an alleged squeeze out. The second time was you had a contract and there, there was an offer to clear. there was an offer to pick up your contract and you asked for like a hundred percent raise. That's like, this has been blown out of proportion. Okay. It was a starting point. It was not the end all be all. I had a number I threw out. I said I'm willing to negotiate. He said there is no negotiation. I said okay. And you walk. And he said, you can either stay or walk. And I, so, and so I, Jeff, I, walk. I will say, so we had, I think we had the same type of contract, which was the first year. And then they had the option in year two, which they would pick up at roughly the same rate as year one. Like I, from my perspective, and I, and you, to your point, I watched your video yesterday. You said you did some stuff wrong. Like I wasn't in a position to negotiate because it's their option. That's kind of how I was looking at but it. But remember, I was contacted by a certain guy whose name starts with G and ends with Z. And he said, what do you want to stay? He asked me. Okay. And then he says, oh, wait, hold on. I'm actually reading your contract. He says you have a year and then another year. So that's where it got confusing. And that's where they, he originally asked me. And that was the number I threw out at that point. So. But again, at that point, wouldn't you, just be, wouldn't you just be like, all right, let's talk? I did say let's talk. And they said no. I think the I ask said, was negotiate. so yeah, well, can we ask what can we ask what the ask was? What was that number that was like insulting to them? Two hundred thousand, which is a hundred, which this? was a, roughly a hundred percent raise from what you were making, roughly. Actually, more than a hundred because I wasn't making hundred. No, <laughs> that, that is an insane ask, Jeff. That's that's that's, that's we really can crazy. we can bleep that number if you want to bleep. But, okay, but here's what I know: none of you fucking people will believe it. But I can make good money on my own. This is true. I'm not, and it was about money at that point. No one's arguing that, Jeff. But when you ask from, like, you know, go from one to two, in one year when they have the option, that's, that's, yeah, that's I, insane. It was, a, it was a starting point. I get it. It was a starting point. You got to start I, high, and you hope that there'll be some negotiation. We'll do 125, you know, or something, or whatever. Right. I, we yeah. figured it out. All right. All right. Yeah, maybe it's just miscommunication, but that is that is a wild starting Fair point. was money at the time. That's yeah. That's what I did. All right. All right. So going forward, um, the ball it seems like it's kind of in Barstool's court. We know that you want to come back. Is there a to Chicago? But he'd be willing to potentially go to New York. Is that right, Jeff? We we can talk about all opportunity. Okay. All right. All right. So <laughs> what's the uh, what's the timeline that you're looking to get this done? Uh, listen, I, I I'm I. I didn't know how this would all go. Uh, I, I've, I've reached out to Dave about some propositions I have, and we'll go from there, I guess. Are, are it you, seems like it's picking up motion, though. I mean, just look, t today, yesterday, I feel like the, well, the yeah. train's running pretty fast. Right, because, again, we have a, there's a, a person who loves the car, everyone else. Cri By the way, I want to make this clear. I'm not on the no-fly list. I'm not on government watch list. <laughs> okay? Uh, this is coming from a guy with major major anger issues. So, remember that. Glad Would, what, that up. Are you worried about running into Rico in person? No. Uh, worried? About what? Running into Rico in person. You guys have beef. What would I be worried about? And would you be willing to step into the ring with Rico Bosco to uh, settle listen, it once and for all? I, I, don't, I want to make another can. thing clear. You guys saw me fight in 2021. I've changed a lot. I think very cautiously, Rico, about doing that. Okay, I'm just saying. Of course, I wanted to do it three or four years ago, and he declined. Remember? I don't know if he's able to from his, from his previous job. I'll, I'll defend Rico on that one. All right, that's fair. Well, Jeff Nadu, thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. We'll see what happens with the negotiation with you and Dave. Don't put the starting point too high, please. Yes. Yeah, Jeff. Be reasonable with what you're asking for. I will. Yes. yes. Thanks, guys. All right, Jeff. Appreciate Thanks, it. Jeff. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Any final thoughts, boys? I, 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 I like some of what Jeff said. I didn't love his hesitancy about New York. That should have been easy. Yes. Yeah. That's, if you want the job, I, well, like. Yeah, I don't really understand why he was pitching Men of Honor and then. <laughs> said, That's a wild saying I fucking hate. And then all of a sudden he's pitching Men of Honor yes. in the same sentence. Yeah. I would assume him and Rico have to be in the same spot, correct? Yeah, I, I they came and yeah. share a Zoom link we saw like an hour ago. The black, the you know black kids, when the black kids started in 07 when you couldn't walk it's, at graduation. It's that way. For the girls in this office that you commented on, threatened, you fucking criminal. Bring them back, Dave. Back. How am I a criminal? Explain, motherfucker. You never have any facts. It's all just fucking conjecture with you. It's always right, fucking you know, this and that. I'll be, just, I'll be fucking biting your fucking ass. Look at this guy. He's a violent... Talk about a criminal. Look at this guy. Hey, hey, what the heck? Well, I don't know how that would work. All right, so we'll see what happens. That's the rundown. Have a great weekend. Good stuff. Hey, everybody stay safe this weekend. Have fun. Oh, I like that.